All right, you sad sexist stuff, and I've been asked here to speak today because of the new upcoming tournament that's going on. Now, I normally don't do something like this because of how low below my pay grade it is, but they threatened that if I didn't, I would have to go clean up a bunch of old... Mm, Sosa casings, let's say. Right, you lot. And settle down in the back there. We're today to go over various tactics for different combat scenarios for hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. Take and hold. This is the first hold you'll be facing in the first to worst tournament. The light blue hold, so named because of the light blue markings on the wall. You with me so far? I know this is going to be very challenging for you to cope with, but the enemies are going to come at you from multiple different angles. By which I mean one direction at a time, and only in pairs with no armor and only armed with basic pistols. Should be easy enough for you. And now we come to the final hold of this sortie. You clear this, and you'll be home free. Or, uh, cooped up back here, but with your brain still inside your casing, so it's something. Named Red Room. This is a room, and it's red. It's also big. Many entrances. Now my priority is keeping you lumps of meat all in one piece. And for that purpose, we're going to be focusing on a strategy emphasizing defensive positioning for your survival. It's not the only way to play the hold, but if you're struggling, it's what I recommend. First, we need to go over what this hold is going to throw at you. In terms of encryptions, we got stealth, agile, and regenerative. With enemies of medium to heavy armor and weaponry, and just general long engagement ranges. For encryptions, I recommend a shotgun to help with agiles, but nothing specific. For enemies, if you can, shoot them with a little something called armor piercing. And large magazines are recommended, and defensive power-ups always come in handy. Next, let's get an overview of the battlefield. This is a sloping hold, with a long staircase running down one side forming the most prominent feature of the room. On the other side is a pit and a tower. You might think that taking the high ground on the tower is the way to go. And it is, in a melee, in a shootout, while you can see all around you, you are also very exposed. The top of the room is surrounded by doorways, and a ladder allowing the enemy to sneak up on you, so you're going to want to hold the bottom. While nowhere in this crimson coffin is safe, the tower blocks line of sight from you to most of the room. This provides a safer area from which to fight. Enemies traversing the room must take their time to reach you, while you can choose to engage at almost any time. With only two entrances to concern yourself with, you can easily control the flow of enemy reinforcements. Having no eyes, so Sigs are blind, and will walk right past you if you let them. Stay in their blind spot beside the door and you can take them out from behind. From here, you can see into the green corridor opposite you. And at this angle, you can see the enemy coming before he sees you. So when he does emerge, you're ready and waiting for him. Right, here. right, so that's the two closest doorways handled. Each enemy wave has three Sosics. If they choose those two doors, there's only one left in each round to deal with. Almost every spawn that doesn't bring the Sosic through those doors will result in them coming down the stairs. They practically line up for you. It's kind of funny. The one thing you need to be aware of is Sosig's above you, but listen out for him and you can usually hear him when they try to get the jump on you. Oh, good. Right, on to dealing with our encryptions. The first phase of encryptions you're going to encounter is going to be stealth. Clear the room of Sosig's first to give you some time. When the encryption pops, take this route along the room to clear them. Don't forget to look up at the beginning either. You can miss that one. For our second encryption, we're going to be dealing with Agiles, Speed Meat. Sosig clearing is mostly the same, but faster. This is the toughest encryption to beat, so popping a power-up is helpful. 
Use a shotgun to make snapshotting agiles easier, especially at a distance. Number four buckshot is recommended. Oh, and also don't forget to clear out the Sosix before you start on the encryption. Phase three, regenerative. This is when you want to have AP ammo. If playing limited ammo, save it for this phase. Sosix are back to standard spawn speed, but are wearing full armor. Clear the rounds quickly, and you should have plenty of time to focus down the encryption. Focus on the furthest notes first, and the replacements will be more likely to be closer to the core, and easier to take out quickly. If you are not very quick, Sosigs will spawn. Take them out quickly again to get more time on the encryption. Then that's it. Hold complete. Home in time for stew and dumplings. I'll be waiting for all the fresh mustard to pop out of you when you get surrounded by three machine guns. Ah, Vietnam. Good times. Class dismissed.